This is America's most inbred family, a total of 15 siblings that share the same parents who were first cousins. These are the Whitakers, and as of today, there's only three siblings and one cousin left. Ray, one of the brothers, only communicates through barking and grunting. <laughs> older sister Lorraine is nearly always silent and unable to formulate words. There's their younger nephew Timmy and their third sibling named Betty, who takes care of them all and is the only one out of the four that's able to communicate. But this video posted by Mark Liotta, who goes under soft white underbelly, raised more questions as Betty revealed she was one of 15 siblings, including Ray and Lorraine. And when asked about her family's apparent condition, she said she had no idea what could have caused it. But, but the the mental disorder that that Ray has. What, what is that from? I don't know. I don't know what else. Due to the effects of inbreeding, they have eyes that look in different directions and use barking and screaming as a form of communication. Living in West Virginia, they are heavily protected by the police. And coming into their neighborhood, the first thing you'll be greeted with is angry neighbors pointing a gun at you. You see, growing up, the Whitaker kids mostly to themselves in their isolated rural town. Most of the Whitaker boys went to school, with some of them even graduating high school. But according to Betty, their mom Mom Gracie was very protective of the Whitaker girls and didn't let them go anywhere. Constantly being made fun of by the public caused them to become more and more isolated as they began to avoid interacting with others entirely. Betty even recalls how Lorraine Ray and Timmy were regulars at the local church but stopped going when a family made fun of them. That's not a good church. He walked back and Ray was a kid and Ray was a kid and he was going to go to church down our room. One family was making fun at him, so he just, he wouldn't go back. Oh, uh, you guys get made fun of sometimes? Yeah. Yeah. Many of the siblings that were self-dependent moved out of the family home, like Kenneth and Larry, who graduated and even got married. Yeah, I was married once mm -hmm. Most of the 15 siblings had passed away, and the ones still alive, their living conditions continuously got worse. The only thing keeping them going was Betty's dedication to taking care of her siblings after promising her mother on her deathbed that she would. But Mark's videos did something completely unexpected. They gave a candid look at a normal family that that was ostracized by society and turned into a roadside attraction. His videos humanized the family, showing that they are all regular people with their own thoughts and emotions, just stuck in a mind and body with limitations. You can even see Ray's talkative and engaging personality as he communicates with Mark and shows him around the house and the garden outside. You wanna show me? We saw Timmy's sense of humor and love for drawing and coloring. Timmy, what are you doing? Baba! Right. Is that a crossword puzzle? No! At one point, certain families were notorious for practicing incest. Some did so believing their bloodline was special and needed to be kept pure, while others did so to ensure their fortune remained within the family. But for the Whitakers, it shined a light into poverty and the lack of education that creates an environment where kids engage in these activities not knowing any better. 